What's going on today, guys? Um, it's almost August. I'm starting as the my last week of July. I'm making the rounds, getting my uh, fungicide apps in on the fescue. Um, I'm getting you know pictures and stuff from my buddies, applicators in the Charlotte area, that kind of thing. Fescue yards just detonating. It has been hot and dry, and it's even been a little drier out where they are, but it's damn, it's been hot here too. But uh, I'll show you a couple pictures of those just so you get an idea. I mean, a lot of times it's not anything anybody did, it's just the situations. Um, here, I'm kind of particular about where I plant a fescue yard. Sometimes you don't have a lot of choice when you pick it up and it's already fescue, but I, I try not to start one for anybody unless it's a kind of shady yard and they got irrigation. And you know, there's always going to be spots of the yard that aren't shaded or spots that get different sun exposures. So, I mean, it is what it is. You have to deal with it. But sometimes fescue, even in this area, is the best suited grass for the lawn. This one is a case in point. It's pretty shady, real shady actually. And fescue does great here. Haven't even turned on the irrigation, by the way. Um, stay tuned and we'll run through some of this stuff. Take you through a few of the fescue yards I'm gonna hit today. I'm kind of pressed for time, so I don't have a lot of time to yap to my cell phone like an idiot. But uh, I'll show you some some highlights and lowlights on this one. So stand by. All right, it's pretty shady, obviously. Um, the trees create another problem. The uh, grass right up around the tree roots will compete for water with the tree, so. It's a little thinner in these spots, but it's still pretty, pretty acceptable than out here in the, in the open a little bit. I just sprayed this thing. Otherwise, I guess I shouldn't be trodden around on it. So, nice and thick, doing its thing. On this fungicide round, I was going to sneak in a, a third fungicide or a different fungicide with a different mode of action. Something that might have a little more activity on gray leaf spot or maybe even pythium but in all honesty the time for application snuck up on me and i didn't get a chance to go get anything else or to order anything so still running with the uh homemade headway the 16 ounces of propiconazole the for the 41 percent propiconazole and 16 ounces of azoxystrobin if i come up on a yard that has some issues I will go ahead and bump up the rate of azoxystrobin, but not the rate of propiconazole. I just don't like the high rate of propiconazole because it's hard on the grass. And we're still getting way up in the 90s every day. Not a lot of rain. Really don't want to do that to the grass. So I feel like the azoxystrobin is a little safer and a little more effective. So if you're going to bump one of them up, bump up the azoxystrobin if you have some fungus issues present. It's my theory anyway. So we're running those two got 40 ounces of the MFT in here and I'm running about two pounds per thousand two or three pounds per thousand of the uh, carbon earth 818 on the yards that's what's, what's happening in this fungicide I have had a few that I did earlier that had some weeds in them and I put tenacity and change up in the tank mix all right but anyway this is what we're looking like here we're at another one this is a triple threat plus fescue yard but uh you know been pumping along peptides 818 fungicides all that deal uh it's not in as great a shape as it was last month when i was here but it's still pretty decent let's take a look at it it's hanging in there really not bad considering the weather we've had but i mean there are some close-up signs of heat stress maybe beginnings of a little fungus looks like they're i know the guy who mows this mows it with a walker the little blades on that bad boy there yeah all right let's go on to the next one
three of them right here together, see how they're doing. This one always struggles just a touch. That little corner right there gets a lot of exposure. This one's doing great. He's still got buttonweed. JC's got buttonweed. Yee! There's a free spray I gotta do. <laughs> Heading for August, and we have just, it's, we've had a few hundred degree days right now, and this one's held up pretty good. Some little drought stress spots on it. Right now, this is in the shade, but most of the day, this slope right here is the south facing slope, and most of the day, this is in the direct sun. This is the triple threat plus, another little spot. It is held up amazing and i i feel like the peptides and the whole program that we've been using on these yards has contributed to it a lot it i still get a lot of comments on a video from a couple of years ago where the maintenance company seeded a fescue yard in the summer and all that 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 particular attempt at seeding didn't work but this is the yard um but I've had these guys for a customer now since that day. And uh, <laughs> we came back and reseeded the yard that fall. And it turned out well. Uh, this has been a, a real pretty fescue yard. Let me flip it around and show you the back. We've got a couple spots in the back that look a little, a little tortured. All right, looks pretty fair overall. A uh, couple of spots there. But not too good. But remember, we have just, we, we, we've had almost a week straight. 100 degree temperature, very little natural rainfall. Overall, this is this is great. Again, this is the this is the triple threat plus from Pure Seed, and this one across the street. That's the Mountain View Seed varieties, the top choice. You go over there and check that one out. Go from our yard into the neighbors here. I see their crabgrass and Bermuda mix. Our fescue's holding up better in the heat than their Bermuda, so. Ooh, right. Just sprayed this with tenacity, too, so. This thing is banging. All right, we're over here in the Mountain View yard now. Mountain View seems to have a little bit finer texture than the uh, pure seed fescue. Might just be my imagination, or it might just be mowing habits. This is the, this is the first year this has been a fescue yard. This was uh, some really bad uh, centipede, and I sprayed it out in the fall and seeded this yard. This yard's done well. I was really surprised that it's held up this good because the guy mows a little low, I feel like. But uh, we've made it through. I mean, here we are almost August. We still got a nice lawn. Got no problem with that for August. And I mean, it's, uh, it's about six o'clock in the evening right now, and this is getting a lot of sun right now. But that one over there takes the midday torture. Pretty happy. All right, this is bent grass. I got this stuff cut at about an inch and a quarter. I got a mole tearing it up and it's sucking the color right out with the lower mowing. But uh, Jay Wire said I need to spray the grubs. <laughs> He's probably right. But uh, do a little work on this, but. For holding up in the summer, I'm I'm kind of shocked at the way the old bent grass is done. That's not bad at all. All right, here's another one. I put this in a lot of videos. Um, looks great. Uh, this one gets a lot of sun exposure. It's kind of open to the front, south facing, so uh, it will show some heat stress signs. But it's it's pretty good right now, actually. I went ahead and pump this application up a little bit with the uh, Subvert uh, K-Kick or D- Let me see what the hell this stuff's called. I can't even remember. So many names. K-Max. It's a 0030. That potassium's in there. Right, let's check it out. The edges are along the curb and 
super hot that's where you're gonna see the most damage in these usually bad boys thick got no complaints on that or that 2020 appropriate drop all right i'm gonna have to get rolling here but i'm gonna i got probably a couple pictures i can throw in and i'll throw in the pictures of the blown up yards in charlotte um uh you know but sometimes it's just bad bad luck when you lose these fescue lawns they're not really intended to be in these kind of temperatures in this environment this heat and humidity in the transition zone um this deep in the transition zone as i'm in eastern north carolina uh I, i'm particular about where i plant these yards uh sometimes you know you don't really have a choice if it's it's already there and they call you to work on it if you take it or not but i mean uh i i, I generally go for shaded areas I, I won't do one unless it's irrigated uh you, you really don't stand much of a chance with a non-irrigated fescue yard in the in the south but the old things we're doing working on fertility all winter long and now even into the summer some with things like running the light applications the 818 on them make sure you're getting plenty of potassium in them going into the summertime because the plants use it up really quickly and the potassium is what uh is going to regulate your your water flow in that in that stomata and all and keep them open and keep that water pumping through the plant but you're gonna need a little nitrogen in there with it to make that uh potassium work so just a thought there and the uh subvert stuff the the uh, peptides i really think that they're having a lot to do with our handling this heat stress and so i'm impressed with that so far all right again here we are the last week of july and i swear i'm mowing grass like it's springtime this stuff is out of hand peptide power i guess i don't know but i, I have been dropping about two or three pounds per thousand uh, 818 on it with the fungicide apps and the last app i put the mft on it uh but man this stuff is growing like it's springtime the, the grass looks like springtime grass the color is good let's look at some of this stuff pretty good and crazy thick mowing it in the transport height on the mower had to double cut it Aww. another scorching day <laughs> i'm gonna cut it short for real this time um so far i'm liking what i'm seeing going back through the fescue for my uh late june early august treatment here we might make it who knows hell summer might last till uh december this year you never know but uh right now everything's really on track good so i'm standing in the road gonna get run over by a porsche and let him go by and ease him into the picture all right but anyway <laughs> how about this well i'm happy for this time of year but again it's just a combination of all the stuff and a little luck and it, it's been hot it has been super hot so i'm impressed that it's hanging on the only thing really different this year than last year is the introduction of the peptides so i mean i can't say that hey that's it but that's the only thing different so it might be it <laughs> anyway i appreciate you guys watching i'll try to put this together into something that is halfway legible i don't know i i, <laughs> I was just running around filming stuff i didn't really have a coherent theme or anything as usual thanks for watching we'll see y'all next time and as promised here's some of the uh exploding fescue in the charlotte area i, I feel bad i mean i'm not putting it up to poke fun at anybody i'm just showing you that uh fescue is just just struggles in the the heat and sun and drought but uh here's this is a couple of few photos three different really good 
applicators taking care of them. Just different situations will make them blow. Uh, looks like a thunder shower is coming. Time to get out of here. 